not today, not tomorrow. You probably got a few years of uh, narcissistically uh, um, um, abusing her to death. And, and then she'll finally leave you at some point. But you know, we going to get into it. Some people call them a fish eye food, a light skin food. Some people say that food ain't even light skinned, which he's really not. But we're going to get to it. So, all right. I'm waiting for y'all comments to pull up here. While y'all doing that, I'm going to go ahead and share the screen. Okay. I don't know why it's taking longer for people to come in. I think it's because of the commercials. All right. I think it's because of the commercials. But let's see. Let's see. Wait for y'all to come in here. Let me check on the YouTube app, too. What's up, Flora? What's up, Jamal? I don't know why YouTube was playing with the numbers that this week. There we go. There we go. I think it's the... um. The ads at the beginning. Okay, got it. It's the Marshall. It's the Marshall. Got it, got it, got it. So we finna get right on into Simone Biles, Jonathan Owens, all right? Did an interview with the uh, uh, Pivot Podcast. We already know what's up with that. Let's, let's just get to it. Let's just get to it. Let's play. How did Simone and Jonathan meet? Okay, let's do it. Every step of the way. You know, like the the moment. I see. Don't get into no long shit, bro. I gotta ask you, man. God damn, y'all boys scared, bro. As us pretty red dimes as we are, <laughs> how in the hell did you pull Simone by? You? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, what? Do you, did y'all not read the colorism in that comment? And Simone over there just as giggly as hell. Just as giggly, just as just, just a fool in love, young, dumb, and full of this niggas come. Did that fool, did this fish eye bitch just call himself a pretty red dime? They truly want to rest in their femininity. And they say I'm the gay one. They say I'm the gay one, but what no, it wasn't no bigger way, uh, Mr. Tragic by Russia than to put Jonathan Owens' cock in your mouth than you just did. You go ahead and get his damn number then while you at it, but I forgot you is a fish eye freak. When you and your wife like to be around all them naked people, I can't talk because I do too, but you get the point. You get the point. You want to be around all them damn naked people. You swinging. What side is you swinging on? You are an ugly biracial. Who told him he was a pretty red dime? That's top of the line. Cute face. Wait, wait, with a bit behind. Is you a dime, mister? What is this? Oh, Channing. That's his name. Channing. I know his mama white. I just bet his mama white. Because he definitely don't give to his mama black. No shade. Did he say pretty red dimes? Is this how men are referring to themselves now? Damn, do you want to suck his dick too, Channy? Let us know what's up. Oh, his dad is white? His mama black and he acting like this? I'm going to start with your mama. She should have whooped your ass. Your mama should have whooped your ass. Who told you you was pretty? Do y'all not see the colorism and the featureism that is all up and through this damn conversation? This fish eye food channel, who has ever called him pretty? Ever. You bug eyed, you funny looking, you don't bathe. Without them dreads, you look a hot ass mess. Y'all boys scared. Bruh, as us pretty red dimes as we are. <laughs> How in the. Ain't neither one of you niggas is dimes. Neither one of y'all is dimes. This fish eye freak right here look a hot ass mess. And uh, Jonathan Owens is just, he's a decent looking dude. No homo, but we just talking. This, this nigga here, this biracial, this tragic biracial right here, this biracial bougie bitch is ugly. This is an ugly biracial. This is an ugly mixed breed. They need to put this motherfucker back in the oven and try again and bake him some more. This is when racial mixing does not come out well. This is normally when you taste that drink at the bar and you say, ugh, we tried. Throw that shit away. Let's try it again. You bake that cake and it falls, falls flat. 
You make a recipe, you add too much lime. Oh, ruin the whole dish. Throw it away. We getting pizza. Ain't nothing about this. Ain't nothing, I'm about to call him a nigga. Ain't nothing about this. Have N word cute. Die. A 10. A 10. A 10. A 10. Now, even Kevin Samuels and that wide ass nose that he had and the black ass lips would be turning in his grave at the fact that this man is calling himself a dime, a dime, a dime, a dime, and pretty, pretty, where? Where is the pretty? You tall, that's about it. No, John, 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 Jonathan's attractive, Jonathan's attractive, he is. He ain't no, he ain't no drop dead gorgeous, man. Y'all, y'all give, y'all give people a little bit too much credit. Cause let's keep it real. Without Jonathan's eyes, he would have an average face and we gonna keep it real. We not gonna act like that in the black community that we don't big up light eyes and, and loosely textured hair. He's an attractive dude. But he ain't no drop dead gorgeous motherfucker either. And I'm not saying you should be going for that, but I'm just saying. We gonna keep it real. It's like when a lot of niggas big up light-skinned girls. Like, a lot of them light-skinned girls are not all that. They just light-skinned. Quiet as it's kept. A lot of the mixed girls are not all that either. They're just mixed. Sorry, I'm I'm just keep I'm just keeping it real. Uh, but anyway, this ain't about all that. We own this fish eye food here. Who said he don't bathe? They do say the pretty bitches don't bathe, but I'm I'm I, I see bitches, but I don't see nobody that's pretty. This fool that said he bathes two to three times a week got the nerve to call himself a pretty red dime. If he was dark skin, y'all would drag the dog hell out of him. Somebody that say they only shower two to three times a week. I know the back of them ears stink. And you got locks. Your scalp look clean. I give you that, but we only see the front. Bitch, you losing your hair. You're 62 years old. You still ain't got a beard that don't connect. Your tattoos look shitty. And you cross-eyed it. And then you mix with a nappy head. How you gonna be mixed and still got a nappy head? The womb you came out of was a failure. What is this? This is how we start off the clip. Pretty red motherfuckers. And Jonathan, if you was worth two cents, you would have flipped in and said, no, my wife is beautiful. My wife is dark and lovely. Simone is pretty. She funny looking because she's so little. This is because she's so little and got all the muscles because she did all them gymnastics and it stunts your growth. But Simone is, if you look at her face, it's very symmetric. It's perfectly symmetrical. Simone is very pretty. But because of colorism and featureism, Jonathan is going to be the pretty one of the relationship. He's going to be the bad bitch of the relationship. Ladies, is this why y'all running to uh, 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 damn near, uh, running to the men's that look like they fresh off the boat? Is this why every woman is seeing dark skin? Dark, 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 is that is this why? Is y'all sick of light skin nigga shit? Let me know. Y'all know I don't claim black skin. I don't identify as that, but I'm j I'm j I'm just I'm just saying. Oh, my six month old grandson loves watching me. Oh, Bridget, thank you so much. That's so sweet. Storm love the kids. Anyway, is that why y'all tired of them? Cause yeah, right. He's no Christian keys, not no homo. That's a motherfucker that can call himself a pretty red dime. Christian Keys can call himself a pretty red Don. This nigga can't. Wiggle, half wiggle, whatever. Anyway. Hell. And scraped all that white off your tongue. 
looking like you got stank ass breath. You look like that funky, that funky motherfucking school that was always like, where my hook? Where my hook? Where my hook? With stanky ass piss and stanky ass breath, breath smelling like flaming hot Cheetos and Sunny Delight. Got the nerve to have on a white ass t-shirt and a gold chain with a dirty neck. White ass, filmy ass tongue and, and yellow ass teeth. Cross-eyed. A receding hairline. A curmudgeon ass head. Sparse eyebrows and a beard that don't connect. And he said he's a pretty red dime. Dime? Dime? Y'all not dragging this 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 curmudgeon head ass bitch enough. He got the nerve to be around swangers and, and swinging around naked. Nigga, yo, yo, yo dick win stank. Yo twerk wins thing, because you look like the type to twerk. Oh, yeah. All that shit you talk, you a pretty red dime, right? Don't you ever go to prison calling yourself a pretty red dime. Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Hands on your knees. Hands on your knees. Shake that ass drape. And shake that ass for me. That's what they do to you. Is that what they did to you in the locker room, Channing? You said you a pretty red dime. This is giving, it's giving bussy fire. Throw that bussy in there, bitch. He looks like Abe Lincoln. Exactly. Are you serious right now? Nah, you don't call you don't call you don't call yourself no pretty red. Di- I'm so to another man, us pretty red. Di- all right, all right. Did you pull Simone Biden? <laughs> yeah, hey, we I love this football talk, bro. I gotta get yeah. to him. I'm over here rubbing my <laughs> knees. <trying to> <laughs> hey, Chad, I wanted to tell him he's talking about being looked over. Now, when the right people look at you, <laughs> yeah, that's you, know. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> How did you do that, bro? Man, it's you really how she pulled me, man. That's the question. Oh, man. Lord Jesus. Now you with Freddie. Now it's back. Now, <laughs> yeah. now you listen, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you organic story, man. So I'm uh I'm about I just got to Houston. I probably have been to Houston seven months. Um, I was single at the time, you know, so I'm just living, being me and myself. And you know, COVID man. had just hit. And but I had just went to Arizona and one of my boys are like, hey man, you gotta check out this app, you know. And I'm like, man, I'll check it out. Like, what is it? It was called Raya at the time. So um basically it's like a dating app, but you know, you have to go through certain like criteria to make sure that you're who you are. So literally you have been on you have to go through certain criteria to make sure. You are who you are. Which means it ain't really going everybody. That means everybody on there is verified. Correct. It's Raya. Now to me, when I see it, it looked like Raya, but you know, I'm country. Now it said it's Raya for celebrities only, right? Known as the dating app designed for influencers, actors, and the bachelor contestants. I'm going to say Raya. Raya is a private membership-based community that was first developed in 2015. And yes, nearly everyone who's anyone wants to be on it. Which means every, pretty much everybody that's everybody is somebody. Right? I don't want to be biased. Let me look at everything. Can a normal person? Can a normal? Yes, a normal person can or a non-celebrity type can't get accepted on rail. Okay, so it's possible, but even if you're a normal person, you go through certain verifications. How do you get approved? You have to have a referral, have an interesting career, serious social media following, win over an anonymous committee. So even though you don't have to be famous, you have to be somebody. 
You have to be somebody. Then I said, damn, this dating app sounds familiar, right? Oh, because it's the one that Ben Affleck was on before he got re well, before he married Jennifer Lopez. Waking up in the morning. It says that time I matched with Ben Affleck on Raya and thought it was fake, so I unmatched him and he sent me a video on Instagram. Looking about so many things. So people keep tagging me in this, right? And I love it. I absolutely love it. I adore it, especially when people tag me in things and say, by the way, I'm a Leo sun, <laughs> Libra, moon, Sagittarius rising. Like I love it all, right? But I just, I, start, I started seeing the tags yesterday and I don't know what to say because my mind cannot compute that these celebrities are just on apps. You're telling me the star of Armageddon and is on i can't think of another movie are on dating apps some of my friends have raya raya whatever do you know how many of them have matched with dane cook what the fuck he went real dark right i mean who wouldn't after what he went through anyway ben all right so you know she had to have been somebody let's keep going on that for a couple of days man and it's like she pops up and i'm like let me see who this is. Gymnastics. I ain't never, you know, I, I never really paid attention to gymnastics. So it, he it, never really paid attention to gymnastics. He never really do y'all believe that? Because they've already found tweets on his Twitter from 2012 where he was talking about the gymnastics. He sounds slow. Most black niggas talk like that. I'm sorry. Yeah. He literally tweeted about it. Let's keep going. It piqued my curiosity, you know. So I'm like, okay, that's that's that's. I'll see what's up. I swiped her, and it said we match. So I'm just like, oh, okay. So I'm gonna see what's up. So I go do my workout, and I come back, and I get like, I had some likes on my Instagram, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, oh, this might be. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So I see what's up, and then I still waited. I'm like, man, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till I, you know, take a shower and everything. Then I come back to my phone and then she messages me on the app. He even tells he even tells a story like the woman of the relationship. Why do we need to know you was taking a shower? Why do we need why do we need to know all that? This is embarrassing. So he got home from Pilates and then like he realized that they matched and then like he was he was he was dirty, so he had to go get in the tub, take a shower. Oh my god, and scrub and exfoliate. And then he came back with his hair wrapped in a towel. The fuck! This could have been cut in thirty seconds. We met on a dating app. I swiped. We matched, and we've been inseparable ever since. You see how I did that, Jonathan? You got a lot to learn about marriage if you're going to stay married. You should have cut that till we matched on a dating app while I was in training camp. We met up after that, and we've been inseparable through the pandemic and ever since. God damn. But no, you had to be a bad bitch. Like, hey, you know what I mean? And I'm, man, that's a man, this got to be fake. Like, I don't know. Just, I didn't know who she was at the time, but like the first thing that I saw was that she just had a bunch of followers. So in my mind, I'm like, okay, she got to be good. If yeah. I promise you, I'm a, I'm a real life story. When she won the Olympics, I was in college and we didn't have NBC. We didn't have Olympic channels and we're in camp. We're in camp late, late, late July, early August. So I'm not paying attention to, you know, so I never would have had a moment. So they didn't have the internet when you was in camp. I don't believe this. This is crazy. He came up with this because he, he th this is his way. This is like a passive aggressive way of putting her in her place. I don't buy that. You match with this girl on an app that pretty much everybody's famous anyway. I know it had to have said her first name is Simone. Even if it didn't say her last name, I'm sure some of her pictures had her in her gym, uh, her gymnast outfit her leotards and stuff because you said, oh, I see she do gymnastics and stuff. 
and you didn't know who this was, man, get out, get out of here. Get out of here. You know what I'm also hearing, too? Now maybe I'm just reading too much into it, but y'all can disagree. I'm also hearing, too, I don't feel that he was that attracted to her. Do you understand what I'm saying? I feel like he, he see a lick. And I also feel like he see a lane. Let me explain. Simone been around white folks. When you're a black and you've been raised around whites, you don't know a lot of the intricacy. Is that the, oh damn, I ain't even been drinking. I can't remember words. You don't know a lot of the, I'll say the ins and outs of black dynamics and dating. She been around whites. Yeah, I know she came up, had a, you know, had a messed up background and foster care this and foster care that, but that girl been around whites. That's why I really would have rather her have gotten with a white dude. Not because I want her to necessarily mix, because I just think culturally, listen, culturally you have to, you know, did she grow up in Ohio? No, Ohio was hood as hell. Ohio was hood as hell. That's another story for another day. But I just, feel, I'm just, when you come up around whites, a lot of times you don't, you, you don't, you don't know the hood dynamic. She don't know. She's not gonna know when game being ran on her. Then you know he piped her right away. You already know he piped her quick. He did that quick, and she bent over quick because the nigga looked the way that he looked. We gonna keep it real here tonight. Okay, she bent over quick. What Tyler Perry say? Touch her toes. She touched. She touched. She grabbed her ankles and she did the splits on the dick real quick. I had no disrespect to her, but we're just keeping it a stack. And no, they didn't use no condom either. Now I'm really setting the fucking tone. So. He ran gang. I'm just hearing gang. I'm not hearing a man that's like head over heels in love or even a man that is like super attracted to her. But let's keep going. Moment to where I would have watched like, you know. Chad, I'm going to let you finish your story, man. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> but like I was saying, man, she she messaged me. This is like a Tuesday. And we 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 were texting back and forth. And then we hung out Friday, man. And uh, we couldn't do much as COVID happened. Everything was shut down. So. Um, she came through down um, down to Houston. She lived in the suburbs, so she had to drive about 45 minutes to me. Um, then the rest is history, man. So so you was really the catch in... I always say we the you. men the catch, man. I always say we the catch, man. Yeah, so... I always say that the men are the catch. I always say the men are the catch. That right there tells you everything you need to know. And let me say this. Yeah, I'm always trying to call me when I'm when I'm on. What? 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 The, 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 the directions ain't simple enough. I promise y'all. Don't ever. Oh my god. Uh, I'm sorry, y'all. Hold up. Mm -mm. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Like, what the hell? Anyway. Damn, I lost my damn train of thought. <sighs> okay, here we go. That, that, that's, that's where I want to go with it. Hold up, y'all. I'm sorry. I got to take this because they're going to keep calling. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. That that got a delivery. Got a delivery. My bad. 
When I say, listen, when I say people don't follow directions, you know how you literally put this is this is my unit, this is my building, and they go, Oh, you in building such and such, right? Unit such and such, right? Yeah. Oh, because it took me to another building, so I guess I gotta come further up, right? Yeah. And I also hate men shopping. They never find the shit that you want ever. Anyway, once again, about men feeling that they're the prize, okay? Um, why shouldn't he feel that way? Let's keep it real, right? She matched with him first, of course. She swiped on him first, then he swiped on her second. I have no issue with that. She shot her shot. Thank you, Rochelle, uh, for the 1999. I appreciate that. Been waiting to catch you live since I came across your channel. Thank you for speaking on realness. Thank you so much. She shot her shot. Okay, cool. But as you guys can tell from the from the story that he told, she started liking his pictures on Instagram. She hopped in his DMs. Uh, it's not in this clip, but in another clip, she drove 45 minutes to meet him on the first for, for, for their first date or first meetup. He didn't even get her no Uber there and back. She hopped in her own car and drove. So basically throughout this whole relationship, she has pursued him. She has put him on a pedestal. I watched some of the podcasts outside of the clips, not the whole thing, but I watched more of it. Not only that, um, she talked him into getting married. He didn't want to marry her necessarily, right? And I feel like you should never have to pressure a man into marriage. All right. When a man wants to marry you, you damn near really don't have a choice. It should be like that. When a man proposes, boom, when we get married, if a man is not saying that, he is not serious. Don't think just because you somebody fiance that that means anything either. That's usually a shut the fuck up and it's going to buy me two more years until I find who I actually want to be with or decide to settle for you ring. OK, so in all the relationships, she has been the one pushing everything along, which means she is the leader. He is resting in his femininity. So why shouldn't he feel like a bad bitch if she's made him feel like a bad bitch? She hasn't really made him do anything. And then if you watch more of the podcast. Then if you watch more of the podcast, what you learn, too, is that he suffered from mental health issues and she has been the rock in his corner. So she has literally been playing the role of the strong black woman since the beginning of the relationship, leading the relationship. And y'all surprised that he ain't feeling like a bad bitch. I would feel like a bad bitch, too, because she didn't gave him bad bitch treatment. I don't think he genuinely is attracted to her or genuinely like really digs her like that. I think when it comes to a lot of men, we take me out of it, but I'm going to just say we, cause I, I'm, I'm a male, right? You have the woman that you want and then you have the woman that you can get, right? You have the woman that you want and then you have the woman that you need. So it sounds like this is a needs based type relationship where she, where he, I'm going to call you a she, where he needs her, her status, her name. He's only getting these interviews because he's married to her. We only know who he is because he's married to her. And so in order to even the playing field, he got to act like uh, this bitch was really a nobody when I got with him. Next thing. So you just started off line. She didn't uh, been the one pursuing, this, pursuing him this whole relationship. Not y'all calling me again. Yo, you can't find the door.
Child. Anyway, I would need to. He he can't even find a place. Anyway, <laughs> um, I would need to know what did his exes look like. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, what did his exes look like versus her, right? Because a lot of times you got to watch. It's going to sound bad, but I got to say it. A lot of times you got to watch when as a dark skinned woman. This light skinned man is 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 attaching himself to you. He ain't like, but Brian, you get the point. Sometimes you have to watch that because a lot of times they're colorists and they only get with you because they feel superior. Do you understand because of colorism? I really don't want to get too derogatory, but you get it. Oh, you said his exes were white? All his exes were white? What? Oh, okay, well, there we go. Let's finish playing the clip. Oh, she really booked you. She did though. She is did, what you though. said. Cause I, I was fighting it, I was fighting it. So I was you, fighting it. so in truth, if I say this out loud, was well, Jonathan Owens ain't really want Simone Biles, is and, what you're saying. <laughs> At the time, <laughs> that's what you're not gonna say that. That's what you're saying. I was afraid. I I was afraid to commit. I'm like, ah, I'm man, it's my it's my third year. You know, I'm trying to ah, I'm like, it's kind of <laughs> early. But you know, like I said, man, it happened when you least expect it. And we hung out, man. It was like we hit it off instantly. You know, we just laughed the whole night. Hold up, let me take a me cap in it. I'm about to hear the witnesses. You feel like every... All right. All right. So now let me go look real quick and take that down. That's the pivot if you want to watch the rest. Jonathan Owens ex-girlfriends. Excuse me. Let's see. Oh, baby, they've been dragging him. Hold on, Lil Jones, did you send that to me in a message? I know you sent me the link. Let me look here. Why is it not? What the hell? There we go. All right, thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to pull up his exes. Simone is dark skinned and not his type. In the story, true. Who doesn't know who Simone Biles is? Right. This is the same well, yeah, this same podcast that called Russell Wilson the square, but what Russell is not doing is embarrassing Sierra. Pull up his past victims. Wow. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna copy email this to myself. This is a mess. This is a mess. Thank you, George Blackman. Appreciate that. And thank you, uh, Rochelle, for the donation as well. Okay, we go. Man, I'm not sharing that now, but no. Okay, cool. Do, 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 do. Here, here, here. Ah, no music. And share this tab instead. All right. So this is apparently his ex girlfriend's. Uh, Okay, you see you had a little cut, so this is a while ago, so let's see. Okay, so they look white or white, white, Hispanic, white, Latina. Is that it? Anybody else? Where did he leave my shit? Oh, okay, he, he found it. Okay, cool. All right, so basically white. So I don't know. It to, to me, I'ma just be damn my shoulders look good right there. To to me, if I'm keeping it real with y'all, to me, he really came off as an opportunist. He really came off um as the feminine one in the relationship. And if he wants to rest in his femininity, and if Simone wants to treat him like a bad bitch and put him on a pedestal, and, and she told us to mind our business, and so you know, if she like it, I love it. But I also can see the game is being ran on a Simone. You know, you 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 fell for the okie doke, sis. I ain't gonna lie. Now let me tell you this, Simone. If you're only with them because you want to create some babies with them that are athletic and tall, then by all means do your thing. 
Maybe Simone really know what it is and she's just with him for a look. And then if it is, then do what you do. But understand, you're going to pay for that. When you're ready to kick this nigga to the curb, you're going to come out the pocket. Bad bitches are expensive. Holes are expensive. Okay? Wise woman once told me, her father told her that hoes is expensive. It's not that hoes is expensive, because hoes can be cheap. But bad bitches, baddies in general, you coming out the pocket. They are not cheap, because they're baddies. Okay? And Simone, you were sheltered, and you just, you, you fell right for it. I hope you got a prenup. I doubt that you did. And, uh, you know, he gonna put her on an emotional roller coaster. It's it's she she gonna go through it, but we're gonna be here to pick up the pieces after. It is what it is. Why are you promoting bed winching and Jonathan thought Gabby was cute in 2012? Mm, okay, that's what he say. You drive the heck out of that deuce. <laughs> hey, that's what we do. That's what we do over here. Is this the first attractive dude Simone has dated? Nope. Let me show you Simone's ex-boyfriend. Or actually, ex-fiance. Uh, I follow him on social media. Okay. So this is, this is her ex. This is her ex. So as y'all can see, she has a type. No, that's Stacey Urban Jr. He's also a gymnast. And from what I heard, he treated her like shit too. Because he has a type and his type wasn't really Simone either. The streets say he's a narc as well. That's what the streets say. Right. Now he now Stacy is better, is, is technically, I guess, a red dime, you would say. See, let me tell you something, Channing. This is what you think you look like, but you don't. I'm talking to you, Channing, because Jonathan, I think both of your parents black. You just happen to have them cat eyes. See, Channing, this is what you think you look like, but you don't. You understand? It's what you think you look like, but you don't. Okay. The only difference is Stacy's not tall. Stacy's he's an inch tall. Let me so he's five seven and a half. That's what he's listed at on this official uh uh Olympic paperwork, which really he's probably like five six. I feel like he's probably my height, five six and a half. He probably is because everybody be lying. Like they like Floyd Mayweather is listed at five nine, and I met Floyd, and Floyd is not five nine. No shade, I skated with you, I met you in person. You you're not five nine, but it's okay. You know, Ti say he five nine. I met Ti. I mean, I seen I seen Ti in L.A. and we is the same height, and I'm not five nine. Anyway, still taller than Simone, yeah. But you got to think about for genetics for baby making. I'm getting it. Okay, this is going to sound a little like eugenics a little bit. For baby, if she's trying to correct her gene pool, then she needs somebody like tall, tall. You understand what I'm saying? He's taller than her, but he's still not tall enough for what she's trying to do. But she got a type nonetheless. She got a type. Okay? And he treated her like shit too. Let me see if I can pull up real quick the relationship. Stacy Irvin Jr. Simone Biles breakup. Okay. Do we have any videos over it? Uh, okay, let's get to it. Simone Biles has split from her boyfriend, Stacy Irvin Jr. The 23-year-old Olympian and her boyfriend called it quits in March. After dating for three years, Simone confirmed the breakup in Vogue's new cover story. It's hard being young and having that long of a relationship and then ending it. But it was for the best, she told Right. What happened, Simone? We need to know. ...the publication. Simone and fellow gymnast Stacy took their love public in August 2017, going Instagram official when Simone posted a pic of the couple and captioned, Always smiling with you. 
The pair shared moments from their relationship over the years, including this sweet pic, which Stacy captioned, Weekend Vacation, and Simone commented back, Stuck with me. Stacy praised Simone in August 2017. I also kind of wonder, in all these pictures, like, who's grabbing the camera first? I don't know. Maybe I'm looking into it too much. Because women do be the first one to typically want to do the selfies in the, ooh, I'm with my bae. But does he show you off the way you show him off? You understand what I'm saying? Like, women are going to always be the first one to grab the camera, especially when she's infatuated. Let me tell you something. If your woman don't want to, if she don't grab the camera when she with you, she probably don't like you that much, and she just wants you to pay for the dinner or the trip. But anyway, like... I'm going to be real, like, due to, like, her upbringing and, and going through foster care and the abandonment and then being raised on white people, I almost want her to, like, go through a bunch of therapy before she even, like, I, I just, it's coming off like she attaches herself to somebody and she attaches herself quick. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm Look, I'm not bitter and jealous. I'm not bitter and jealous. I'm not. I'm. I'm also not trying to pull Simone Biles. I'm just saying. You her type, so nah, I'm not. Nah, I might be a little too kinky here. I don't know. Uh, you know, the, these eyes are dark over here. You know what's crazy? Side note, right? So, I had uh, my half sister. I said, uh, I said, wasn't it? Wasn't it the baby birthday? The first baby, baby birthday. The other day, and we talked, talking. I said, Well, send me some pictures of the second baby. The second baby ain't number four months. Baby was born in August, four months old. So I look, I said, Damn, is this baby's eyes blue and green? I said, What the hell is going on? So, you never know, you never know how your children turn out. This shit's wild to me because I'm like, Neither one of you niggas got blue and green eyes, but okay, it's just it's, it's interesting. I don't know. Side note, I don't know how I got on that. But anyway, she been through a lot. I don't know. I don't As she know. was inducted into the U.S. Gymnastics Hall of Fame, riding alongside a pick, words cannot express how incredibly proud I am of you, all you've accomplished, and how well you carry yourself. You make me feel like I am the luckiest man alive. Congratulations on your induction to the USA Gymnastics Hall of Fame. I can't wait to see what the future has in store. Simone appeared on Access Hollywood Live in April 2017 with her then Dancing with the Stars partner Sasha Farber. And while she didn't mention Stacy by name, Simone blushed and admitted she went on a date with her crush. What's with, do we do we want to date more or are we too busy? No, I think the dating would be with the Careful. same guy. I'm not going to say too much. Wait, we, oh, we have, wait, a, we have a, a guy. No, but we have Florida. a crush. Yeah. Okay, who? Sasha. Yeah, you see how smitten... You see how smitten she is? I think, I don't know. She seems, she seems like a sweetheart, but I want, I want like a, a I don't want to say an older black woman, but I want like a big sis to like become her best friend and give her a game. She need a little game. You understand? She need a little game. Even if you head over heels for him, Simone. By the way, that's a beautiful name, Simone. Very classic, very pretty. Even if you head over here, don't tell him you head over here. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like when you go look at a house and you may be you may be coming in your panties, but you don't tell the realtor that you I say what's the HOA fees around this motherfucker? You know. You gotta play, you gotta spend a little game. I don't think she knows how to spend no game. That's why I would have rather have just gotten with a white man. Not saying they don't run game either, but I just feel like it would, you know, yeah, she got to build her poker face up. You don't never want to be nobody that somebody can read like a book. Now, make a person think they can read you like a book. That's fine. But you don't want to actually, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I think she don't even know that she's supposed to switch it up on that nigga a little bit. Oh, Simone, you, you, you know, you, you ain't even been taught. You around there being sweet, you know, cooking and cleaning, getting on your step stool to get the spices out the counter, make, you know, making him get shit off the top counter. Cause you can open up your own pickle jars. Now, one thing about Simone, 
she can open up her own pickle jars. You know what I'm saying? But then now then you're supposed to switch up personalities on him to keep him on his toes. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and now and then, and now and then you need to get a little new with what he do. You got to keep him on his toes. You got to make him work for it. God damn, girl. Switch it up. Uh-uh. This is what you need to do. Do something different with your hair. Color your hair. Cut your hair. Do something different. You can't do, you, uh, you can't, you, you can't, you can't, you, 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 you can't be too even kill. See, one thing about these Negroes, Simone, they like struggle. All right. They like struggle and they, and they, and they like a little bitchiness every now and then. And now and then you got to remind him of his mama just a little bit. Can't make it too easy for him. Because, see, he'll cheat on you with the sassy bitch with the smart mouth. You understand? Listen to Sir Whitney Houston. She said, I'm every woman. It's all in me. All right? I'm every woman. It's all in me. She wasn't just talking about her wigs, Simone. But, see, round up with those white folks, you didn't, you didn't listen to no Whitney. So I already know you don't even know what I'm talking about. Now is not the time to put on Avril Lavigne. This is not the time to put on Taylor Swift. You need some Whitney because you're dealing with a nip, okay? You're, de you're dealing with a Negro. They only understand strict rules and boundaries and aggression. That's it. Can't be good to them. Sorry. Not right now. Maybe later on, but not right now. <laughs> Wanda said, this is why you don't give folks not on your level of chance. They get uppity. Facts. Facts. Oh, was Shaka Khan first? My bad. Listen to Shaka. Oh, she'll definitely be ready if she listens to some Shaka. Damn. All right, I'm going to take a few comments, and then we're we going to get out of here. I didn't expect to drag these people for damn near an hour, but, you know. I just don't think women can marry down. I just don't think it's a good idea. Um, somebody said they think she's a doormat. She's new. She's young. So she don't even, she don't, I'm going to be honest, she don't even really know what she wants or what she don't want. Let me say another thing, too. Let me say another thing, too. I don't think it's a good idea for a person who is very experienced to get with somebody who is not. I know we like, you know, I know typically we hear the men say they like they women, you know, unexperienced virgins, but not, vir they want you to be a virgin, but to be able to suck the cock all the way to the cock and balls. They want you to be a virgin, but be freaky enough to eat ass. They want you to be a virgin, but be freaky enough and okay with them cheating and, and be okay with threesomes, this, and then the third. Not understanding that your freak level ain't like that until you experience. But anyway. <sighs> You know, when you get some with somebody who's super, super experienced, they can really run circles around you if you ain't got nobody in your corner. Basically, Simone, don't like anything he say. Okay, make him prove it. Don't just believe it because he's saying it, right? This is also... Not just being around, you know, want to bread crack ass crackers. It's also because she is a goat, the greatest of all time in her sport, right? She's been hyper focused on her sport, which means she hasn't really been properly socialized. She missed that stage. Unfortunately, when you're very driven, when you're a Simone Biles or a Gabby Douglas or a, 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 a Serena Williams or well, Serena's from Compton, so that's a little different, uh, a Michael Jackson or a Beyonce. Uh, you, you know, you know, I'm not talking to you, J-Lo, you mediocre, so you have plenty of time to socialize. Um, but you, you know, you, 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 you don't really, you don't really know. She don't really know. Oh, she didn't can't. Oh, she already not showing up for work. Well, between her and what's the other one, Naomi Osaka. They laid up with the, uh, um, their boy Corday. And had a baby, then then she ain't showed up to work. That I'm telling you, that shit. I'm telling you, these relationships throw your ass off. Hey, shout out to the Star Report. That that's my guy. That's my guy. That's my guy. 
So you going she canceled work for the D? Yeah. I mean, listen, she she knew to the D. When you first start having when you first start having sex or you first start having good sex, yeah, you ain't really trying to go to work. You want that day in and day out. Damn. Hey Storm, some uh shout out to Life of Ari. Simone Biles, Kiki Palmer, Tiana Taylor, just wow. What do black women have to do to get and stay on code? Uh, I mean, you gotta they gotta value themselves first and truly heal their traumas. Storm got the pick on the side. It's giving me early, <laughs> early 90s. Listen, you know, you do I do me. Somebody uh said to me the other day, when are you gonna do something with your hair? When I feel like it, I work for myself. I don't when I feel like it. I hope she's emotionally strong. She will be. She will be. She just I, I'm, I'm I'm genuinely concerned for her. Yeah, same thing with Hallie. What was Hallie doing getting pregnant so early? Uh, uh, and being with somebody who admits he's insecure. Uh, Kiki Palmer. Now, Kiki was actually at a good age to have a baby, but Kiki should have just went to a sperm bank. You got with that man because of how he looked. Let's keep it real, too. And you, you, you knew that man wasn't on your level, so... You know, you was insecure, Kiki, because they say she Kiki was whooping on his ass too. We gonna talk about it, okay? That was her way of trying to keep control, and then he snapped, and then yeah, he threw her ass over the cat. Here's what y'all gotta understand. Let, let's talk about Kiki real quick too, right? And we are gonna go more in that video, deeper in that video. You have people in this life that are aggressive, and then you have people that in this life that are dangerous. They're not always the same thing. And what I'm taking so far, just from some of the texts and some of the shit that Kiki did, Kiki was the aggressive one in the relationship. But Darius is the dangerous one. You understand? Okay, example. Kiki might, nigga, what you doing? What I tell you to do? You, you, what I tell you? Go find my shit. You always talking shit. I want to hear that shit. Okay, well, mate, let's go. Let's go. We're going to go out tonight. Oh, babe, I want to fuck. Fuck me good, baby. Like, she may be the, uh, she may be the aggressive one. But Darius will actually kill her and her child and then kill himself. He's that type. You understand? So sometimes you, you do want to get, you know, sometimes you pick people who you deem as weaker, not knowing they will really take you out of here. You might have been better off with the nigga that just slapped you. Cause this nigga gonna skip all steps to death. Any nigga talking about, I understand why wolves eat that young girl. You in danger, girl. <laughs> Y'all both crazy. You just two sides of crazy. Kiki gonna start it. That nigga gonna finish it. I'm gonna tell you something. You better watch some quiet ones. You better watch some quiet ones. You better watch some socially awkward ones. You better watch them, them black men that sound like white men when they talk. You better watch them ones. And that's all I'm going to say. Danger, danger. Um, bah, 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 bah. And especially if, they're, if there's any chance that they may be neurodivergent as well. A lot of us are on the spectrum and we don't, we don't know it because we just, you know, they're fairly high functioning. Uh, been there, light bright, be tripping. Don't we? <laughs> she know how to cut up. Eh, her mama know how to cut up. Kiki been working in the industry her whole life. Kiki mama know how to turn up. Kiki cousins know how to turn up. But let me tell you something. If Kiki truly knew how to turn how to turn up, she'd have been fighting that nigga in the living room right back. She'd have got flipped over, got up, started swinging, started picking up shit. She'd have ran to the kitchen, got a knife, got a skillet. If, if Kiki was really about it, we would not have heard about it. We would have saw them out and that nigga, she would have had a busted lip and that nigga would have had a black eye. And she would have proceeded like, like Ann and did. That's women that's really about it and did. The fuck? <laughs> See, women think they about it till shit happen. 
When you really down for your nigga and y'all about to get pulled over, you're going to take that crack and you're going to stuff it in your pussy because you bought that nigga. When you really that bitch and a shootout happens, your nigga got his piece and you grab yours because you shoot too because you ride for your nigga. Most of y'all is about it to shit get real and then you crying. Don't do all that goddamn crying now. I'm just saying. <laughs> oh my god, people, boy, you people get fucked. Let me tell you how people get fucked up in these relationships. That's why I'm not in one and don't want one. It ain't nothing but a game of just it's it's a fight for control. Both parties are highly insecure, but both parties are trying to hide their insecurities simultaneously, even though the shit be clear as day. And both of them trying to control the other one. And it, it takes you years to mature and realize that you can't control nobody and you can't make nobody do shit. All these niggas online talking about they want to be the leader. I am the leader. I am the leader. Not knowing that when you the leader, people naturally want you to lead. You don't you don't lead by force. Maybe that's called a dictatorship, right? <laughs> when you the leader, people trust you. And they do what they they, and they take your advice and do what you say because they trust you. Most you niggas ain't trustworthy. <laughs> and the bitches ain't neither. <sighs> anyway, y'all know I'm an equal hater of everybody. Uh, uh da, 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 da. Sugar is here. They only, period. Autocorrection. Kiki Palmer is a bad person to the core. Yeah, that's the thing. She may have a smart... I think Kiki is the talker. And she has a smart mouth. But she got a good heart. He's probably somebody that comes off as having a good heart, but he's really rotten on the inside. So I, I always tell y'all, you know, be the, the devil you can see or the devil you can't. I don't know. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Facts. A guy deleted his wife in Texas that over 100 times. Yeah. That's somebody who is dangerous. Listen, here's another thing, too, man. And a lot of people, once again, like I said, I don't know why everybody want to be a leader and be responsible. Here's another thing. You can't want to be, this would be behooving me. You can't want to be the leader, but then you complain about women being gold diggers or I do everything for her. Yeah, bitch, because you the leader. Didn't nobody tell you that when you the leader, you actually sacrifice yourself for your whole family? They want to be the leader, but they don't want to take no accountability and responsibility. No matter what, it's your fault. They want to be the leader and alpha, but then they want people to have sympathy for them. Alphas don't get no sympathy, bitch. Punk, bitch, fuck, bitch, fuck, nigga. Alphas don't get no sympathy. Go figure it out. Everybody leaning on you when you want to cry, you don't get to cry. Swallow your tears, ho. It, you have to pay the cost to be the boss. You have to make millions to owe millions. Bosses pay invoices. Do you understand what it really is? Let me say the quiet part out loud. A lot of the men just want you women to let them do what they want to do without questioning them. To do as they say and to shut the fuck up. But they still want you to go 50-50. So pay my bills, but you shut the fuck up. And yeah, I know I didn't paint that room like I said I was going to do, but shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear your mouth about it. And yeah, I know I said I was going to be rich, but shut the fuck up. And I just wish people would just say the quiet part out loud. But then they say, well, no, because you got to run game. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm going to cheat. You shut the fuck up about it. I'm going to say this last and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get off here. We're going to come back. We got plenty to talk about tonight. Um, Another thing too, right? All these dudes 
that's online talking about how like y'all should just accept them cheating accept them stepping out on you when is anybody going to talk about or touch on the rates of stds and stis and how outside babies ain't really what women gotta worry about but basically like being with a man who's telling you he's just going to do him and you got to accept it, you are opening yourself up to STDs. Not all, but a lot of y'all that get with those kind of men, I'm not talking about when y'all both are doing your thing before, I'm talking about you get married and he like, I'm going to have holes on the side. Because the T is... He probably safer with the holes than the actual like side chicks. Really, because I sat back, I really thought about it, okay. So prostitutes, nine times out of ten, they gonna have no rubbers on deck. Even though condoms don't protect you from everything, but they gonna be more inclined to use those, right? But you know who's not? Uh his side chick that he's comfortable with, all his extra little girlfriends that he got on the side, who's also sleeping with other men, and then he's coming back home and putting raw dick in you. In your in your coochie, your mouth, and your ass. Do you understand what I'm saying? Really think about it. A man that's in a long term relationship or in a marriage where he ain't using no rubbers. Do you think now, just because he's cheating, he's gonna have enough respect for you to put on a condom? He's not. After he sleep with that side chick the second or third time, the condom's off because he's comfortable with her. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even though people really only use condoms like 30% of the time in casual dating anyway. Do you know how many people I know who went raw the first, the first date? Oh, they looked clean. No. That ain't how that worked. So I'm okay, I'm okay with men saying that, hey, I'm going to mess around on you and it is what it is. Take it or leave it. But just also add in, and he's probably going to bring you home an STD every now and then. You are more at risk for HIV. A um, whole bunch of people out here in the streets got herpes, so that's going to, the numbers will just rise. You just expect that, right? HPV, you just, are, you're going to encounter that. It's a numbers game. I'm not even talking about the whole, I'm talking about niggas with side chicks and extra girlfriends and a girl on this side of town and a girl on that side of town and a girl on that side of town who all think that they're in a committed relationship with him. Y'all really talk about it. Prostitutes will make your ass put on a condom, but you know who ain't going to make you put on a condom? Your girlfriend around the block that thinks she's the only one. And then if you got four or five of those and you can juggle them, now you got four to five separate households, four to five separate women's, four to five separate coochies, four to five separate pH balances, mouth bacteria, because ain't nobody really using no condom when they sucking no dick either. It's a whole lot, a whole lot. Of, and then on top of that, you just add the spiritual implications of promiscuity. And, you know, you, you, I mean, it, it's a recipe for disaster. And then we wonder why. Everybody run around crazy and depressed. All you, all you motherfuckers weren't born depressed, and all you motherfuckers weren't born bipolar. You got sexually transmitted demons. Let's say you never catch an STD in your life. Some of y'all never will. Some of y'all are gonna be just that lucky. You never will, right? But you gotta worry about the, the sexually transmitted demons that people come with. Y'all don't cleanse yourselves, y'all don't pray, y'all don't uh, tie no cord around yourself and, and tear it off your own, put no cord around a male candle and a female candle and burn that hole and say a prayer and cut the cord and, and throw that shit at a crossroads and 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 kill a chicken and, and cleanse it with chicken blood. Y'all don't do none of that. Y'all don't do none of that. Wonder why your personality changing. Because yes, when you have sex with somebody regularly, you do take on their personality. You having all of these spells. All of a, all of a sudden, you like peanut butter. You never like peanut butters because that whole like peanut butter. And you got the spirit of peanut butter on you. I'm kidding now. I'm kidding. And I don't know nothing about what I just said. This is just all of what I heard. But I'm just saying like. You know, get you some chamomile oil, some peppermint oil, some eucalyptus oil, get, get you some milk, 
get you some liquor, put on some binaural beats or your favorite beats to listen to, meditate, cleanse your whole body from head to toe, clean the tub thoroughly before and after, get an egg, rub it all over your body as you imagine all of your sins being washed away. And then get rid of the egg. Okay. Chicken's blood work and so does goat's blood. Okay. Anyway. 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 Get tested ready. Yeah, that too. Yeah, my mama made me get the HPV vaccine. I told y'all, my mama made me get that. I was a teenager. She made me get that. And yes, you have to get tested regularly, but they don't. True. Is that go towards the light, Simone? <laughs> they don't like when I start talking like this, though, because then they're saying, you know, I'm lame, I'm being a simp, I'm pandering. I'm just telling the truth. Like, I was too old for the HPV vaccine. I'm 35. Uh, glad I didn't get it. Though. Yeah, I mean, just let's be careful. And don't get me wrong, condoms are very real. But the condom ain't the problem. The condom is that most men don't want to put them on. That's why they have so many illegitimate children. But then we do got to think of something, though, because I read some on Twitter where somebody was saying um, they had 10 abortions. And I was like, damn, sis, like. I mean, I know birth control is a bad thing, but I don't know if 10 abortions is no better. Maybe she was lying. Maybe, I, or you allowed to get that many abortions? Like, I'm like, we got to figure something. Why do men like not like condoms? Because raw sex feels better. Raw, raw sex feels better. That's just, that's what it is. But, It had raw sex has real consequences. Yeah, 10, 10. That's what I read on Twitter. She said she had 10. 10. Yes. Men can go get prep. Great invention. So at least the main one, they ain't got to worry about. But you still got umpteen, got umpteen other SCDs, though. Yep, Storm could like Warlock Mail. He don't dark, so. I don't know where this gnat is coming from. I think it's coming from the sink. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else. If I can't abortion is crap. I'm just saying. I thought you weren't supposed to. Listen, she could have been lying, but I was just like, wow. I believe 10 because I know bras that have had that many. That's wild. That's wild. Anyway, people, we out of here. <laughs> I got to go eat. Uh, but anyway, be safe. And, and Simone, best of luck. We'll be watching. Listen, I'm still not going to pray for the demise of a black marriage at the end of the day. Um, if she like it, I love it. But I don't know, Simone. I don't know. It's storm show. It's storm.